We're in the Bobcat edition of West Boggs Lake Park. And this is where our shower room was at. Uh, laundry room, shower room, all that right in there. Real clean facility, surveyed with cameras. Some nice sights here. that full this time because of the not the weekend this is Wednesday July 15 2020 and we're continuing on down through the Bobcat. This is the, the west side of the Bobcat edition. Nice campsites here. Another campsite there. There's some people there earlier today. And there's trails through here too, so you can see the trails. It's a real pretty park. Electric sites with uh, electric and water. Um, most of them don't have sewer for, for full hookups. Coming up here on the links is an addition. Um, yeah. We got quite a few sites up through here and tanks too. some of the spots that got a lot of shade there's a lot that have open sun so you want to check real careful when you're picking a side out that you get something that's got some shade rather than something over here that has sun that's a pretty shady spot right there and we're coming up out of the bobcat one over to the left is another restroom showers and laundry facility in there that one's like a dollar to wash and a dollar to dry. And playground equipment for little ones to play up there. This is part of White Tail. And it goes out in the center of uh, the circle of the campground. Some have the little trailer spots here that are permanent positions that they like to keep theirs at. Down here is a lot of open sun sites uh, up on mounds. You got the grass area down at the bottom with. Uh, pick your sites accordingly. We're coming up to Red Fox Edition. Um, it's out in a, a peak of the lake. We've got quite a bit of uh, area to get real closer to the lake if you like. A lot of fishing on the side really close to get really close to the lake. 
like I said, this is usually packed on the weekends, but during the week, there's a few campers, people doing some camping during the week. More of the lake over here at the side. A lot of places to get real close to there and do some fishing and things. There's a pull through one right here. prefer this uh, park here over a lot of choices we've been to. This is one of the real nice ones. Lots of nice shaded trees if you just want to lay out and read a book or whatnot. And the dump stations. Rinse out your holding tanks here. Trash removal have to go a little ways on the road to empty your trash out or whatnot. This one here is the muskrat edition and it's up on top of a hill. You see we're going up there and they've got a playground equipment up here. Um, a lot of open sun area spots over here to the left. A lot of grass on this side, but you're really open to the sun. You want to get a lot of sunshine. We're about to get to the top of the muskrat. Over here to the other side of the muskrat, you'll see um, more shaded area spots back in. Number 20 there. And down here on the back side of everything, there's more uh, camping spots over here. Uh, under some sycamore trees, put some more shade to camping spots. Like. down the back side of my scrap. A lot of nice 
shaded spots there for a couple campers. Got some friends you want to camp with. That's a good spot to camp close together as well as over here to the other side of it. It's coming back out of Muskrat, facing the lake. I've been told that the lake is a 622 acre lake. The park is a really large park. trails here go alongside the lake and these are only for golf carts, foot, bicycle traffic only. Water's looking pretty cool and breezy tonight here on this afternoon. It's roughly around 8 o'clock. Got some people jet skiing doing a little water activity. They're coming up to the beach area. West Boggs Park. Shelter house up on the top as well. A lot of trails to get real close to water and stuff. <laughs> Very fascinating park for the kids to play on is the playground. Fishing dock there too, the fish off of. We got the, the park here. Looks like they've taken out the sidewalks. They put in new sidewalks. So. There's the zip line, slide, swings. All kinds of spin equipment on the playground. Shelter house with bathrooms. Over here on the side is uh, some boat docks. You can bring your boat and be down here along the the boat dock. Coming up on a trail that shoots to the other side. We'll get a clear picture of the boat ramp. Cleaned uh, daily. I've seen a man today cleaning the, the fish house out there where people clean their fish. Restroom facility, really close. Those ones you think you get down here and you need to get back up to camp or a bathroom, there's one right there by the water. Real clean facilities. And coming to the boat ramp. We got a couple of maps down here of the whole entire lake. We'll get a shot of that here in just a minute. Here comes a boat coming towards us. And we come up to here, here to the map. We've got West Boggs Lake, um, Davis's Martin Joint County's Park and Recreation Department. Um, a little boating travel direction, your danger zones, your idle spots. That's the map of the lake there. 14 minimum inch bass, large mouth bass. Now 
there's a pier and this is where all the boats come in and pull out of as well as another map explaining the same things on both sides the boating rules things a lot of people keep their boats out here nice little boats pontoon fishing boats a lot of those look like a lot of pontoons there plenty of parking space plenty of places to turn around you got your boat quite in a spot there's plenty of spots to put that in like a lot of people uh, come down here and it's very spacious to get in and out of coming up to the camp store uh, activity center for kids another shelter house along the way uh, the shelter houses picnic area large it's a bittersweet uh, shelter down through there uh, camp store up here offers a uh, free miniature golf putt putt golf um, Camp store provides ice, souvenirs, drinks, ice cream, all kinds of uh, things you might need for your camp. They even got marshmallows in there. You need to get you a bag of marshmallows because you, you forgot them down at the store. We got some of those too. We're coming by the uh, activity center camp store. all your supplies you need for in there the camps to work i really like the wildflowers that grow out here there's trails you can go through there and uh, see those places to here and we're going to the place that's uh this is gray fox these are uh, permanent camping spots with RVs and uh, smaller mobile trailers. We go inside the park here, this little section, a great box. Keep in mind the speed limit's 10 miles an hour. A little bit on the rough part of the road. These are places, spots that people permanently set up. Not sure if we're going up a driveway or going around a, if we're going up somebody's driveway. Very peaceful back in here. There's a limited amount of people. Uh, I'd say probably close to 20 to 30 people back in this section. We got some nice little areas through here, though. The guy's got his wood all stacked up there. Neat, clean facility. Doors.
very pretty outfit here. Looks like they got some uh, room for expansion we was talking about earlier. A uh, lot of area to probably put a few more facilities on the backside of Gray Fox. They're gravel, I assume they're used for the trails. Put uh, more camping facilities, rather primitive or hookups or whatever you might have. Yeah, I'll leave in Gray Fox Edition. Going back down the same road we came in on. Yesterday or the day before, we saw a deer crossing. We saw gophers and lots of rabbits along the trail, squirrels, all kinds of neat little things. And you want to watch the traffic when you're going back and forth because you must stop here, let people get through. like a little house on the prairie there all grown up lots of pretty flowers purple yellow back in the woods here you can kind of see a little bit is a private secluded cabin and I'm told that's pretty quiet and peaceful back in there lots and lots of shade want to get a couple or a small group together to stay in a cabin there. Off to the left here where you see the, uh, the pipeline is the maintenance department doing all your water coves and stuff. Now here's the picnic area. If you're just out here for a day you want to go picnic and you don't really want to camp right now you can come out here and do a little picnic and under shelter so if you get caught in some rain there's plenty of places to sit there and I think they used this one point in time of the cabins and it was uh, down in here not sure if they still use those or not I don't think they do anymore Back to some more wildlife here. Very cool shaded spots. More trails. And there's our gopher we was talking about earlier. Down in the grass. This next section along the road coming from the thing. Uh, the front entrance is, is uh, Milligan Point. And I do believe I told they have full hookups out here. We're going to go down into Milligan Point. Somebody's already pulled out that spot and put a new one in already. This is a nice part to get close to the water, too. 